Okay, welcome to my lecture. Myself Tinder Kumar, Assistant Professor, Pungnadu College of Engineering and Technology. So today I'm going to deliver a lecture on Helmholtz equation in electromagnetic fields. So this is also called as the three-dimensional wave equation. So before going to discuss a directly wave equation, so what is meant by wave? So if you have physical phenomena that occur one place at a given time is produced at other places at later time. So one phenomena happened in one place that is reproduced at other places some other time. So the time delay being proportional to the, the space separation between the first location and the second location. So the group of phenomena constitute a wave. The group of so information transfer from one place to another place is called so wave. The Maxwell equation predicts the propagation of electromagnetic energy away from the time varying sources in the form of waves. So electromagnetic energy so transferred from one place to another place so through the electromagnetic waves. So three dimensional wave equation. So before that, we are going to assume the medium is a linear homogeneous medium or under also isotropic. So that is the quantities mu, that is the permittivity, permeability, and the conductivity will be constant throughout the medium. So it is called linear homogeneous medium. It is also isotropic medium. So epsilon is a scalar constant so that D and E have everywhere in the same direction. So the medium should be linear, homogeneous and isotropic. So next we consider the source free region of the medium. Source free region of the medium. So from the Maxwell equation, so we are going to write Maxwell equation number one. So del cross H is equal to J plus dou D by dou T. So J is called Induction current density, dou d by dou d is called displacement current density. So j is represented as small e. So this conductivity in the electric field, j is called sigma e. So d is represented as so epsilon in the so e. So d equal to epsilon e. So by using this uh, formulas, we are going to write Maxwell equation as del cross is equal to sigma e plus epsilon rho e by rho t. So also from Faraday's law, so this is Maxwell equation number one, so this is Maxwell equation number two, also from Faraday's law, so del cross e is equal to minus rho b by rho t. So that's equal to minus mu by mu into rho h by rho t. So b can be written as b equal to this is the relationship between the magnetic flux density and the magnetic field intensity. So B, B is called magnetic flux density, mu is called permeability, which is called magnetic field intensity. So by taking the parallel operation on both sides for equation number two, we are getting this equation. So del cross del cross B e is, is equal to minus mu into dou by dou t into del cross H minus mu into dou by dou t into del cross h. So this is the equation from Faraday's law. So from the identity del cross del cross e is equal to so del dot del dot e minus del square e. So using the identity value, so we are going to replace del cross del cross e as del dot del into del dot e minus del square e. So that's is equal to minus mu by dou by dou t into sigma e plus epsilon dou e by dou t. So in this equation, so we are assuming so d value is equal to zero means so del dot value is equal to zero. So we are going to neglect this step. So left side of the portion will be neglected. So del dot del dot d value is equal to zero. So remaining equation becomes so del square minus del square e is equal to mu sigma.
sigma into rho e by rho t minus f mu epsilon into so minus mu epsilon into rho square e by rho t square. So rearranging this equation, so we are getting the final equation del square e minus mu sigma rho e by rho t minus mu epsilon rho square e by rho t square is equal to 0. So this is the three dimensional wave equation or hell Morse equation in absorbing medium or lossy dielectric medium. So in terms of electric field, so del square e minus mu sigma by rho e by rho t minus mu epsilon rho square e by rho t square is equal to 0. So this is the three dimensional vector wave equation or Helmholtz equation. So similarly, we are going to derive the wave equation in terms of magnetic field. So we are going to take so equals for 1. So del cross is equal to j plus dot e by dot e that's equal to sigma e plus epsilon dot e by dot e. So taking curl on both sides. So del cross, del cross x is equal to so we are taking the curl on right side. So del sigma into del cross e plus epsilon rho by rho t into del cross e. So after taking the curl on both sides, so this equation becomes. So from this, so we are going to use the identity del cross del cross h is equal to so del into del dot h minus del square h. So we are going to replace this portion as so minus del dot del dot h minus del square h. That's equal to minus, so we have the formula del cross e is equal to, so already we have the formula del cross e is equal to minus rho b by rho t from the paradise law. So that's equal to minus mu into rho h by rho t. So we are going to write here, so del cross e is equal to minus mu into sigma into rho h by rho t plus epsilon into rho by rho t into del cross e can be written as minus mu into rho h by T. So this is the new equation. So in the so h vector is equal to 0, delta h is equal to 0. So we are going to write minus del square h is equal to minus mu sigma rho h by rho t minus mu epsilon rho square by rho square h by rho t square. So rearranging this equation, finally we get this equation. So del square h minus mu sigma rho h by rho t minus mu epsilon rho square h by rho t square is equal to 0. This is the Helmholtz equation or wave equation in terms of magnetic field. So h is called magnetic field intensity, mu is called permeability, sigma is called conductivity, epsilon is called permittivity. So this is the Helmholtz equation in terms of magnetic field. So next, so I am going to discuss pointing vector. So pointing vector P vector is equal to E cross H. That is the cross product of electric field intensity and magnetic field intensity provides the power. So E is called electric field intensity, H is called magnetic field intensity. It represents the energy flux. So W for watt per meter square of electromagnetic wave. So energy can be transferred are transported from one point to another point by means of EM waves. The rate of change of such energy transportation can be obtained from Maxwell equation. So Maxwell equation number two. So del cross E is equal to minus mu into rho h by rho t. So that's is equal to del cross is equal to Maxwell equation number one. Del cross is equal to sigma e plus epsilon rho e by rho t. So dotting the both sides of equation number two. Then E gives. So we are going to take dot product on both sides of equation number two. So E dot del cross x is equal to sigma E square plus so E dot epsilon rho E by rho t. So E dot del cross x is equal to sigma E square plus E dot epsilon rho E by rho t. So this is the equation after taking dot product on both sides of Maxwell equation number one. So, but for any vector field A and B, so this is the identity formula. So, 
So del dot a cross b is equal to b dot del cross a minus a dot del cross b. So applying this vector identity in equation number 3, the d a equal to h and the b equal to e power. So the equation modified as based on this identity h dot del cross e plus del dot h cross e is equal to sigma e square plus e dot epsilon dou e by dou t e dot epsilon dou e by dou t so that's equal to here writing epsilon e square so e dot epsilon dou e by dou t can be written as 1 by 2 epsilon dou e square by dou t so e dot dou e by dou t can be written as 1 by 2 dou e square by dou t similarly h dot dou h by dou t can be written as 1 by 2 dou h by dou h square by dou t. So applying this concept to this equation, so we are getting sigma e square plus 1 by 2 epsilon dou e square by dou t square dou e square by dou t square dou e square by dou t square. So dotting the equation number 4, h dot del cross e is equal to h dot minus mu into dou h by dou t. So mu dot dou h by dou t can be written as 1 by 2 dou h square by dou t. So the equation becomes minus mu by 2 into dou h square by dou t square. So equation 4 becomes, so applying this h dot del cross e value to the equation number 4, so we are getting minus mu by 2 dou h square by dou t minus del dot h cross e, that's equal to sigma e square plus 1 by 2 epsilon dou e square by dou t. So rearranging and taking the volume and error on both sides. So rearranging this equation, taking volume and error on both sides. So taking volume and error. So O V minus del dot H cross E into so D is equal to minus rho by dou T into O V into 1 by 2 epsilon square epsilon E square plus 1 by 2 mu H square into D E. So we are commonly taking 1 by 2 epsilon square e plus 1 by 2 mu h square into rho v dv is a common term rho v dv minus so del b sigma e square into dv. So this is the uh, new equation. So applying the divergence theorem to the left side of this equation, we are going to apply divergence theorem. So this equation becomes what is general e cross h into ds is equal to minus rho by dot t into Integral value integral 1 by 2 epsilon e square plus 1 by 2 u h square mu h square dv minus so rho v into epsilon dou square by d into dv. So the left side of the same equation shows the total power leaving the value. This is the total power leaving the value. So middle term represents the rate of decrease in energy stored in electric and magnetic fields. Energy rate of Degrees of energy stored in electric and magnetic field. So, last portion shows the ohmic power dissipation. Ohmic power dissipation. So, this is the finding vector and also finding theorem. So, total power leaving the value is equal to rate of decrease in energy stored in the electric field and magnetic field minus ohmic power dissipator. So, finally, I am going to conclude this portion with small recap. So, wave for wave means. So the phenomena that occur one one place at a given time, so it uh, reproduced in another place at some other later time, some later time. This continuous process constitutes a wave, the electromagnetic energy transfer from one place to another through the electromagnetic wave only. So the electromagnetic wave, so we are going to wave equation, we are going to do the wave equation, we are assuming the medium as a linear, homogeneous, and isotropic. So from the Maxwell equation number one and two, so we are going to obtain the wave equation in terms of electric field del square e minus mu sigma dou e by dou t minus mu epsilon dou square e by dou t square is equal to 0. So if you write the uh, wave, wave equation in terms of magnetic field means del square h vector minus mu sigma dou h vector dou by dou t minus mu epsilon dou square h by dou t square is equal to 0. So finding we are going to finding vector.
so p equal to e cross h the winding vector so power leaving the value is equal to rate of decrease in energy stored in electric and magnetic field minus ohmic power dissipation thank you